Hello, my name is Christopher Scott from the Biblical Leadership blog at ChristopherScottBlog.com and today I'm going to give you nine reasons that volunteers quit volunteering for your nonprofit organization or church. This material is based on some uh, work that I've done a couple summers ago to try to research why is it that volunteers quit volunteering for an organization uh, when they've been there. Uh, so these are set nine basic reasons that volunteers seem to quit uh, that I was able to find in some research-based journal articles. So let's go ahead and get started. Number one is that volunteers had limited time to volunteer, right? They were just busy. Specifically, 58% of volunteers said that they quit volunteering because of requirements with school, work or involvement in other organizations. So either they're busy at school, busy with work, or they're involved in another nonprofit organization. So that's 58% of people said they quit volunteering because of those three reasons. A second reason that volunteers quit is the organization did not provide clear communication and expectation about what the volunteer would be doing when they came. So volunteers kind of show up, they expect to serve and work, but when they get there, no one really tells them what to do or what to expect or what to wear or where to park, and they never come back, right? So that's the second reason uh, volunteers didn't know what to expect um, and didn't receive good communication about the volunteer work. The third reason that volunteers quit is that they said they do not have a voice, meaning they're just told, show up here, do this work, wave at me while you leave out the door, pretty much. Um, instead of volunteers getting to have a voice about what is done and how it's done and the best way to get it done, uh, they're told, you know, just do the work and don't tell, talk to me, don't ask me questions, things like that. Uh, from the staff, I mean, the staff would say that, just do the work, don't talk to me. Uh, so a lot of volunteers say they quit just because they didn't have a voice. They wanted to be able to contribute, not just with their time, but to use their brain in helping do the work. The fourth reason that volunteers quit is that they felt alone and isolated, okay? meaning they're put in a desk in a dark office or they're put in a corner in a warehouse doing something and they felt all by themselves and didn't get to interact with other volunteers, didn't get to interact with clients, didn't get to interact with staff. Um, so they quit just because they felt alone and isolated. The fifth reason that volunteers quit is that they did not experience what they thought they would experience. The example I often give for this is when I worked the United Way of Stanislaus County, we had lots of kids that would call and they say, I want to volunteer at the animal shelter, right? And they think animal shelter, there's these cute, cute puppies and cute kittens, and it's going to be outside and it's going to be nice and sunny, and these dogs and cats are going to let me come love on them. And then kids would show up to the animal shelter and it's in these cages and they're muddy and they're smelly and the dogs won't even come near them and the cats are cats as always and aloof and don't even want to act like they have anything to do with the volunteers um, and so that expectation that the volunteer brought did not match what they thought um, didn't match what they actually experienced right so that's the fifth reason is that volunteers didn't experience what they thought they would experience sometimes that's not even the fault of the nonprofit uh, organization or church right it's just volunteers having a, um, an in uh, incomplete um, a, idea of what to expect, I guess, or maybe a more Pollyannish view of what they would expect. The sixth reason that volunteers quit is that they didn't experience, uh, didn't get the ongoing training that they need. So maybe they got a little training at first and it got them started in the work, but for them to keep working and keep doing their work, they needed ongoing training and help. I mean, if they don't get that, they're going to quit, basically is what they've said. Number seven, uh, volunteers need for a positive self-feeling was not met by the organization, which basically means the volunteer didn't feel appreciated nor needed, okay? So volunteers want to serve, they want to help, but they also want to feel that they're making a difference. And most, a lot of volunteers say they quit just because they didn't feel um, expected or needed um, in their role. Number eight, volunteers quit because they're simply just burnt out. That's another reason. They're busy, they're doing a lot of stuff, maybe they've been serving in that nonprofit a long time, they're tired, uh, they're just burnt out and they quit. Uh, the ninth reason, the final reason, is that they're young men, okay? Coming from a young man, uh, this is just what I found in a, a, an article. Um, it's actually an article based on the motivation and effectiveness of hospital volunteers, right? Uh, page 33, uh, conducted by, I don't know if you're going to be able to say his last name, Zwingendhaf is the guy's last name, and the article is titled Motivations and Effectiveness of Hospital Volunteers, 
page 33. Um, so if you Google that, you might be able to find it. But it is research that shows women are usually a little bit more reliable as volunteers than men are, okay? So I can say that. I'm a man. I'm a young man. I think I can um, say we're not quite as reliable. We're a little bit more flaky, if we could say that. Um, and sometimes volunteers quit just because they're men and we're a little bit more irresponsible and immature than women. Uh, so those are nine basic reasons that volunteers quit nonprofit organizations and churches. Uh, I'll just go over them again real quick for you. Number one, they had limited time to volunteer. Number two, the organization did not provide clear instructions uh, for the volunteer. Uh, the volunteer didn't have a voice in the work being done. The volunteer felt alone and isolated. They did not experience what they thought they'd experience. Uh, there was no ongoing training for volunteers. Volunteers had a need of uh, feeling appreciated that was not met by the organization. Uh, volunteers were burnt out. And then lastly, they were young men. So my name is Christopher Scott from the Biblical Leadership Blog at ChristopherScottBlog.com. Uh, if you want to learn more about volunteers and leadership, I've got some free articles there you can always look up, and hopefully uh, they're able to help you and serve you in your work in a local nonprofit or church. Uh, so again, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate getting to share these with you and hope that they are helpful for you in your work and ministry.